Devastation strikes the university campus tonight as fire rips through a small two-bedroom home located just outside of campus. Inside the burning home was a university student who is now in critical condition. Two, three. Intubated with 7.5 ET2. Got him on some monitors. We're He's initially responding to Alive. Can you open your eyes? Zach. Open your eyes. You're in the hospital. Hey, Zach, can you hear me? You're in the hospital. Zach, open your eyes. We can hear him. I'm here with James Farrell, a resident of the home that caught fire earlier tonight. James, how are you doing? Just assume Zach's all right. Tell me what happened. I don't really remember, but I know we were asleep, and the, the room just filled with smoke. And uh, I thought, thought he was behind us. We couldn't find our way out, but then when we got out. He wasn't there. <laughs> His parents just got here. Yeah. All right, James, thank you. Take it easy tonight. Well, we are still gathering information on the actual cause of the fire, but what we do know is that the off-campus apartment fire actually had several university students trapped inside. It appears the smoke alarms were not working. Medic to in route with a 22-year-old male injuries from a fire. His uh, vital signs are unstable. Has respiratory on standby. Zach, Zach, can you tell me the last thing you remember? Before you make it, it's pretty gutsy. Yo, I got next game. You know what's going on? Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, shit. Are you ready? Hi, Mom. Uh, fine. Everything's fine. Yo, keep going all the time. Um, <laughs> what? Just. Ooh, that's game. I'm up. Just give me one second. My mom wants to see the place. I'm gonna go get my laptop. Can you guys make the place look decent? Of yes, course. Of course. <laughs> Happening. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's check back upstairs. Well, party's over. Commissioner, what can you tell us? Our investigators determined that the fire was caused by improper disposal of a cigarette. The smoke alarms were disabled. The room in which the student was trapped had a jammed window, leaving him without an escape. Others were able to escape, but this is the very real result of careless disposal of smoking materials. Very important message here. Absolutely. Commissioner Ayers, thank you so much for your time. And as we hear the commissioner tell us, can't really stress the importance enough of having properly working smoke alarms as well as having two escape routes in a burning building.
Excuse me. What is that? Okay. I... I understand. Uh, the student uh, victim that was caught inside the burning house and spent the night in critical condition, I am just now getting confirmation that that student has tragically passed away. Oh my God! Oh no! Hi, Zach. How's everything? How's your day going? Is everything okay? Don't worry, Mom. We're just hanging out. We'll be careful, I promise. Okay, I know you will, honey. I love you. Okay, love you too. I'll give you a call tomorrow.